Hello and welcome to Monday Mame with myself, Mark W. Hosting as always. Uh, yeah, is there much to say here? Well, I've been a bit occupied. A little bit of illness and heavy workload and whatnot. So I haven't been doing much on my YouTube channel at all lately in the last few weeks. However, I am on a mini vacation, a staycation, if you will. And that means it's the perfect opportunity to this Monday night, and I don't have work tomorrow, to get into an old-fashioned Monday meme evening in which I play some old-school games on my arcade cabinet, above which you see this camera view. Um, what is there to say? It looks like I'm getting some frame loss for some reason. So that's a little concerning. I don't know why I would. Um, I didn't really have that problem much ever since I transitioned from using Wi-Fi. Just fine. Speed test says, ugh, it says it's pretty slow. I'm just running the speed test tool right now. I don't know why it would be so bad. I'm getting like nine megabytes down, but what's more important is up. Because I'm uploading to you guys. I'm getting about 10 megabyte, megabits per second up, which is pretty crappy, but it should be enough, really. And maybe this is the April Fool joke right here. Hmm. Well, I might just have to roll with it and hope it gets better. Um, <laughs> at the moment, it looks good. I don't know if it's going to keep going good in bed on and off like that. But let's roll with it and see what happens. Okay, so yeah. Andy is here, and Eric is here. Hello, guys. Andy said, Mark's idea of April Fool's is to pretend his stream is bad. Oh, yeah, that's, that's real fun for everybody involved, right? So I thought it might get a little silly because April Fool's and try to play some games that I've never heard of before. That I assume many viewers have never heard of either. I don't know if I'm going to want to do that the entire time because I kind of felt like playing a couple of old favorites as well as a game that last time I believe you, Eric, recommended when I did a Monday mainstream, and that was Zookeeper. I've been thinking about that game a little bit. But I'm going to try to get a little crazy and just play weird, obscure games with silly names and whatnot, like this one right here. It's called Defend the Terra Attack on the Red UFO. <laughs> I just saw that name and I was like, that's, that's ridiculous. Let's try it. And it is from 1981, about 42 years ago, maybe 43. It's hard to imagine that video games are are that old in general, but it does seem to be a fact. Offhand, this looks like a generic. Uh, it could be Gal Galaga. This could be Phoenix. It could be anything generic. Bonus Galax IP or Galaxip. I guess that's my character. He's a Galaxip, or my ship is called a Galaxip. For 7,000 points, let's press start. It's a little bit low. Some games are loud, some are low. You never know what to expect. All right, I can shoot. I got these little... There's like a row of UFOs in the front and a big large one. I can't hit the large one, it looks like. But offhand, this looks like it was inspired by, you know, Galaxian or something. It's kind of lame that you can't hit the ship. Oh, I'm dead. By the way, I'll take requests. You know, the whole stream doesn't have to be doesn't have to be all random, obscure games that nobody's heard of. In fact, I'm probably only gonna do a few of those because I'm thinking that they're probably all gonna be bad like this. <laughs> Who knows? It could get off awesome real fast. We'll see. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! Taking out the the big UFO. Oh, they come from the side like that. They at a sharp angle. That's game over. That's it. I just wasted 25 cents. My quarter is done. Let's try again. Let's see, I, let's see if I have like a shield button or anything. Do I? What's that icon at the lower right? I think? It shows a little red thingy. thingy. That could be something I have. Yeah, I'm getting a little bit more aggressive and I think I'm doing better this time. Yeah, I'll take out the mothership. And then these little ships come out when you do that, I guess. Cool. It went a little better that time. I'm assuming nobody, Eric or Andy or anybody else, has heard of this game before. Oh. Yeah, it's not fair when they come come at you like that. I guess you have to shoot them before they get closer. They'll come at you at that sharp angle. I don't even remember the name of this. It was called something like 
defending the something something against the red UFO. <laughs> ah! Oh, how did I survive that? <laughs> I'll chalk it up to skill. Eric said this is the kind of game they were playing at the Pizza Hut on the wrong side of town. Yeah, it's some cheap knockoff. I haven't played really a knockoff for a sec, because it's not... I mean, it is, but it is. It's not, it's not like a bootleg, right? Because where it's just, you know, an illegal copy of some well-known game that's been renamed in an attempt to, you know, evade <laughs> legal consequences. It's just kind of a, you know... A not so, not so great game inspired by something like Galaxian or whatnot. It's not like, it's not like terrible. It's just... Hey, look, I got an extra life just as I died. I think that was perfect timing. I got another. Uh, what do they call it? A Galaxit? For every um seven thousand points, I got seven thousand just at that moment as I die. Ah! Yeah. Is, it, is the stream holding up okay, guys? Oh. Something cool happened when I sh shot the green UFO. I played a little jingle. What's that flashing green thing up there? I should shoot that. Oh no! Okay, I, thought was, I thought the red guy was gonna, gonna come at my flank. At that sharp angle like it likes to do. This thing won't die. I, that little green flashy thing, I thought it was something I could kill. Huh. What do I do now? Oh, I, I, guess, I, guess, I guess I just missed it before, okay. I see myself laughing too much longer here. <laughs> Eric said it's okay, the stream is buffering every once in a while. Alright. That's too bad, but um, as long as it's not terrible, I guess. I guess I'll just have to deal with it. I'm not sure why that would be. Maybe uh, it's my ISP playing an April Fool's joke, or or maybe it's the Cosmic Rays. I used to have a boss who would joke about the Cosmic Rays, because as a software developer, I worked alongside this guy who would, who would have all these crazy problems. He'd be like, it worked on my machine, it worked five minutes ago. And the boss would be like, sure, it was those cosmic rays again, right? Causing the bugs. Anyway. Yeah, if anybody has any random uh, requests, I will try them out. I'm kind of leaning towards playing weird, random, obscure games or games with silly names or whatnot. But as I did mention, I do want to try Zoo Zookeeper again, because that was a game that I had never heard of. And Eric recommended it last time I did a Monday MAME stream, and I remember thinking it was pretty cool, so maybe I'll just get into that right away. And, you know, I follow these um, companies that put out these small-scale cabinets, in it, and you can see on my shelf behind me I have a bunch of these six-scale cabinets from New Wave Toys, but there's also another company called Numskull that puts out quarter-scale cabinets, and they recently just did Zookeeper, so I guess, um, you know, if, if they chose Zookeeper as a game to put out. It must be more popular than I, than I had thought. I, I had never heard of this game. But it is by Taito from 1982. Let's go into it. I don't quite remember how to play, but hopefully it'll come back to me. <laughs> to keep our copyright 1982 in Roman numerals by Taito America Corp. Play me. Hold animals in zoo with bricks. Those lions already got out. Get some beer on. <laughs> Get some root beer. Jump over the animals. It's just random root beer floating around to keep you refreshed. Okay, that's round one. Let's go. Put a quarter in. How long can you hold the animals in? Triple jump gives you more money, more points, that is. Capture bonus, that's right, you gotta, you gotta wall them in. All right, do we have any sound here? No sound? Why is there no sound? Hmm. 
I am playing, right? <laughs> yeah. Hold on. Let me try a different copy of the ROM. Sometimes individual ROMs might be a little buggy. But I would think I, you know, usually I play the, the first one I see. So I, I would think I had played this last time. Oh, look at this, though. If you see on the right, it says I played this copy of Zookeeper 76 days ago, which seems about right. So I, maybe the, the first one had no sound when I tried it last time, so I chose set two. Anyway, I will try set two right now. Zookeeper. Eric says I might have to get that cabinet. Oh yeah, you get the uh, you get the new wave cabinets. Do you get any of the numbskulls? I would um I would get the numbskulls too, but it's just it's just too much to collect and put on my shelves and everything. I figure just going a little nuts with the the one six scales is probably probably all I need. I don't need to go nuts with multiple. Oh, it's playing. Okay, and we have no sound again. I don't. Oh, it's just very low. Okay. Okay, uh, I probably got off to a bad start there. And did I die? No, I apparently beat the level. I didn't die with the... Uh, and the time ran out, I guess. Okay. Can you jump with... The, oh, here we go. Jump. Jump over the snake. Get some clovers or whatever these are. Where's my root beer? What is that thing? Oh, it's like a, a trowel or something? End. Okay, now we have to climb up, jump up the platforms, and uh, rescue the lady. There's a giant coconut coming to me, though. That's the problem. Oh, man. Too many coconuts. Ah! No, oh, I got coconutted. <laughs> Let's try it again. Maybe the key is to just get up there before too many coconuts appear. Ah, but they're being jerks to me. Throwing a lot of them. Here, here we go. Yeah, my hero, 5,000 points. Oh, okay. We have no walls this time. We have to build them from scratch. Build our... oh, we... Yeah, that's right. You can kill these guys with the trowel or whatever this thing is. You kill the animals. Wait, I'm supposed to be a zookeeper. Why am I killing the animals? It gets better than they kill me, right? Kill or be killed? Yeah, I wonder how uh, popular this game really was. I mean, it's obviously not considered, like, you know, Pac-Man level <laughs> of classic, but if, if Numskull put out a machine of it, it must be more popular than I ever realized. It must have some kind of a following. Every once in a while I come across a game that people regard it, you know, with some kind of fondness that I had never heard of, such as, um, or maybe I'd heard of it, but never really played it more than once or twice. I think of Kangaroo recently. Like, recently I've heard that a lot of people like Kangaroo, and I never really... I don't think I heard of it, even, or I might have played it once and forgotten about it. Until, like, I started doing these Monday memes, I was organizing, you know, games by... Oh. Okay, that was that. How am I jumping? Oh. I had my fingers on the wrong button. Anyway, game over. Okay, I was organizing... Here's my story, I'll tell it again. I was organizing games by ROM... Uh, sorry, by by year, when I started doing Monday Mame, because I would um, play, you know, that would be my theme for a, a whole stream, would be, hey, let's play games from 1982 or whatnot. And I found, you know, I, I would Google for, like, the best games for each year, and I found this, some references to Kangaroo from, I think, 82 or something like that. And I was like, what? I don't remember this game at all. And honestly, I don't think it's that good, but but um, apparently people uh, do have a fondness for it that, I've, that never really, you know... Made, it, made its way to me. That's okay, because I have not played every game on the planet. 
In fact, maybe it would be kind of scary if I had played every game on the planet. Let's try again. Let's get the beer. Oh, I missed the beer. Hey, you beer me. Get that beer. Before the timer, though, I need the beer. No! Yes, I got the beer. I don't want to drink clovers, I want to drink beer. I know they have to say it's root beer. These people are prudes. Kill the animals! Oh, they just go back to the cage. I just realized I'm not killing them, they're going back to the cage in the center. <laughs> Strawberry. <clears throat> the jumping physics are very floaty. Not a complaint, just an observation. I think from just like jumping you get points. Yeah, even when you fall you get some points. For some reason. Oh, unless you fall onto a coconut and die. I do have a little trouble on this screen. Yay! Excuse me. Oh, I missed the uh, trowel. But I got some ice cream. That's, that's almost as good. Oh no! Okay, well that's that. You can see I didn't do as well as I did uh, last time I played. The number one and two are in the six figures. Tonight I only got 75k and 36k, it's pretty terrible. I'm gonna pretend I'm somebody else. The YCH, yeah, you got a bad score, YCH, whoever you are. I just thought of a weird game that, um... A weird game that I just remembered that I had played in Beginner's Luck last time, exactly, Eric. A weird game that I had played in the past that I was reminded of recently. I remember actually playing this in the arcade. Definitely not a super well-known one. At least I don't think so. And, um... Oh, you know, I, I forgot I had two different screens. Like, one that looks better for, for when I'm in-game and not. So I should switch to that. Anyway, uh... We recently, you know, celebrated St. Patrick's Day. And, I, and I, I saw somebody was making a remake of this game for Intellivision. You know, one of those crazy homebrewer people. And I remembered it because of that. So this game is called Leprechaun. <laughs> so we can play this. It's another weird game that is uh, appropriate for perhaps St. Patrick's Day and, and fits with the theme of playing weird, obscure games. To the Leprechaun chasing you, trying to steal his gold. You know, usual Leprechaun-y stuff, but let's play it. And th this time I'm going to switch to my better mode. I guess it depends on the game, because it depends on the dimensions the game uses. But let's see how this works out. Leprechaun! Oh, Leprechaun doesn't want to work. That just means it's a ROM set for a different emulator, usually. It's kind of a pain to manage all this emulated stuff. But it's a lot easier than trying to own every cabinet in the world. Just a little bit. So essentially, just a quick primer here is, uh, there's a... a LR refers to Lib Retro. That's the front end. It's called Retro Arch. So Lib Retro is a plugin for Retro Arch. And then the emulator, uh, this one is called FB Neo, Final Burn Neo. Neo has nothing to do with Neo Geo, by the way. And uh, MAME is, well, you probably heard of MAME. 
in the title of the stream. So sometimes if a, you know, I usually use final burn by default these days. So actually it's a little misleading that when I call the stream Monday, May, but if the, the ROM set doesn't, doesn't work, usually it's better. Usually it'll work if I play it on main. And Stu is in the house. Hey, Stu. Say, Stu says, play Hippodrome with down thrust. I don't know if I want to play Hippodrome. <laughs> Maybe, though. We'll see. Yeah, that's kind of a weird and obscure one, I got to say. That's generally what I'm doing is playing weird and obscure games. Right, here's Leprechaun. And I guess Hippodrome would probably fit that bill. Your goal, you control the sleuth. Your goal is to get the pot of gold. The leprechaun will try to catch you and keep you from getting the pot. Charged magic houses will help you. You get points for hitting trees. The pot's value increases for each tree you hit. Good luck. Bonus sleuth at 30,000 points. All right. Let's get some trees and pots of gold. Touching the trees. It reminds me of uh, that game Necromancer a little bit. If anybody remembers that. I'm probably going to hit a lot more. The Leprechaun is very slow right now. I think it gets faster with each level. Ding, ding. Connemara. Hello, Magic House. They're teleporters. Look at that. We have a pack. Oh, I was trying to use the tunnel. I was going to say, they got like a Pac-Man style tunnel here, but I kind of ran into the wall. So I actually remember seeing this somewhere. I, I don't remember where, but actually when I was a kid, I I remember playing this for a while. It might have been at like a hotel or something. I don't know. And I remember liking it a lot for some reason. I remember it had like a cool stylized arcade cabinet. It was, uh, I don't remember how it looked like. I just remember the whole package looked cool. It was kind of, kind of short, I guess, like a leprechaun. And obviously it's not, a, it's not an amazing game or anything, but but it is weird and obscure. Unfortunately, it has that annoying tone all the time. I don't know what's with that. It could be an emulation problem. Maybe it's to represent, like... I could say something stupid. It's to represent bagpipe having that drone sound. <laughs> but, but that's Scottish. <laughs> Munster. I guess we have no borders. Leprechauns without borders. Did the pot of gold... He's moving the pot of gold? What's happening here? Yeah, he picks it up and moves it. Okay. Eric says... says graphics remind me of that Oregon Trail hunting game. God, I'll have to play that. You know, the last time I played Oregon Trail... You know, I never really... um. Played as much as most other people who are as old as, <laughs> as I am have. I like, play it like once or twice. I remember my uncle had it for his Apple II GS. I never had it on any of the computers I owned. And Stu says, is the main character Scrooge McDuck? <laughs> he does like leaping into large piles of gold. Uh, I don't look very duck-like, however. I'm very slow suddenly, it looks like. Maybe there's too many trees for the game. I th oh, no, I think it's when I walk through a tree, I get slow. Uh-oh. Hey, Drunky Kong, how's it going? He says, hi, Leprechaun reminds me of Hunchback Graphics. It's a weird one, too. Oh, Hunchback. Is that the game's name, Hunchback? Hold on, I lost my stream. Oh, shit. Give me a second. Lost my, like, YouTube channel. There we go. All right. Yeah, he just keeps picking up the <laughs> the pot and then like moving it five feet. He should run off with it. Now, does that number under the gold does that go up with each tree I touch, or does it just go up over time? I guess it was each tree I touch. And he touches the tree and it goes back to his green self. Oh, I, I thought I was gonna die right there actually. How's it going, Drunky Kong? Good to see you. Man, it's taking a while. Oh. 
Did I win? <laughs> nope. Perry went up somewhere in the forest of Kells. Happy Easter to you too. And this is a belated St. Patrick's Day game, perhaps. <laughs> I don't know what else could possibly pertain to St. Patrick's Day. I think the last game had some, some clovers in it, but that's a bit of a stretch. Zookeeper I was just playing a few minutes ago. Which is a game I had never heard of before, but uh, Eric Johnson here pointed out to me, he requested last time I did a Monday mainstream, which was in January, I believe. Um... I'm probably going to jinx myself, but so far this game seems like painfully easy. <laughs> I'm not even, like, really, you know, using every resource I have, like, jumping into the houses at the last moment to escape, and I'm getting pretty greedy with tagging all the trees. I'm not, like, just running for the gold. And Stu says, Zookeeper is a great hidden gem. I, am, I might play it again. Have it for Atari 2600. I didn't know they made it for Atari, huh? I saw that, um, I was just saying earlier that, um, Numskull put out a quarter, quarter scale arcade game, uh, arcade cabinet of Zookeeper, which kind of, to me, reinforced that it was a little more popular than I had ever realized. Oh, once again, I thought I was going to die, but the leprechaun was just, uh, moving the, moving the pot. Oh, the homebrew by Atari Age, that's cool. The homebrew world is pretty pretty cool stuff. In fact, we're, I was reminded of this game by the homebrew world. Because Brian's Man Cave was playing a an in-development Leprechaun port for Intelligent. I didn't actually watch the video, but I saw the thumbnail. I was like, oh yeah, that game. <laughs> I don't think it's his, his work, though. Brian of Brian's Man Cave has been making a... He's been pretty productive making in television homebrews. Yeah, it's pretty impressive. I was watching his stream. You were in the chat, I think, Stu, but I was watching the archive version of, of his... Um, he was playing uh, that Stratego-like game that he made. It's called um, Napoleonic Wars, basically based on Stratego. And the thing is, he said in that stream, you could email a certain address to request a copy. It's like some guy who just doesn't even have a website, he, but, he, but he produces the games, I guess, or at least sells them. And I emailed them, and they never replied, so I don't know. And I checked my junk folder, of course. Maybe they didn't check their junk folder, though. So I don't know. I don't know if I really need a physical... You know, sometimes in the moment, I'm like, yeah, I'll get a copy, but then, uh, you know, I let it sit for a while. I'm like, yeah, maybe I don't really need one. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they changed the rules somewhat. That's right. Well, they're they're working with, I think, the official rules, but not the original official rules or something like that. Stu saying how he doesn't like that they changed the rules. I don't really remember. I don't, like, know the game that well. I don't, it's not like a game I played a million times. So you could probably change a couple of rules out from under me and I wouldn't remember. But it's cool, it has these neat little animations and stuff. It has a good musical score. Uh, but yeah, that guy never replied to me. I wonder if he sold all his copies or what. I guess I should email again. I don't know, <laughs> again, I'm not really sure I want it anymore. I mean, it's cool and I like to support homebrewers and Brian, but sometimes I'm like, I don't know, they're, you know, they can be a lot of money and I don't even, I don't even have a working physical in television right now, honestly. So I could go either way, essentially. It depends on my mood. Anyway, what's this going to get challenging? I mean, again, I'm expecting to get jinxed and like, you know, the game's going to show me up, but I'm kind of just taking my time getting most of the trees here. Ding, 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 ding. 
the leprechaun. So has anybody else played this in the arcade back in the day? I feel like I was the only person. I was like, I remember, I have like a vague memory of telling people, I played this cool game called Leprechaun. It was at the, whatever. I remember it wasn't like at an arcade. It was at like some, I don't know, either like a convenience store or a bowling alley or something. You know, like some, some place where they don't have a lot of games. A hotel, maybe. And I remember telling people, this is a cool game, Leprechaun. They were like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Now I'm wondering if it really is cool. I like I like it, uh, the style of it and everything, and like, and I like the little the little houses look cute, and I I like the idea of this crazy leprechaun chasing you while you're trying to steal its gold. But like, it's just far too easy. I mean, I guess I could try to get every single tree or something and make it a little more challenging, but I don't know. I haven't lost a life yet, and I haven't played this in ages. Oh, you're just outright faster than him, aren't you? Or maybe about the same speed, but he doesn't really like aggressively chase you necessarily. Okay, he's, get, he's getting close to catching me now. Drunky says they had a leprechaun in the bowling alleys arcade in my high school way back. <laughs> cool. Yep, so this is Leprechaun. It's recycling the the town names here, or whatever they are, provinces or whatever. Munster. Forest names, I guess. So I guess I'm looping around all the levels. Something. What am I... How am I supposed to lose here? And again, I am kind of half expecting to, the game to like punch me in the face as I say these things, but so far I've managed <laughs> just, just fine. Could be the, the uh, you know, some of these arcade games, they have like dip switches for difficulty levels and um, I, when I play emulated games, you know, usually I'll just play whatever default unless it's something I'm you know, really interested in and I find the difficulty too, too off. You know, if I'm, if, I'm, if I'm revisiting Pac-Man or something and I find it to be ten times harder than I remember it, I'm like, oh, maybe it's a dip switch. Uh, maybe I should change the dip switches here. But I don't know. I'm kind of inclined to just give it a couple more, couple more minutes and then just stop. Or I could go for the world record. Somebody want to look up the world record? Oh, I didn't realize there was the gold right there. Somebody can check out the, uh, the Leprechaun high score on Twin Galaxy or something. <laughs> Galaxies or high score that time. Uh, but I'm sure it's not really. I don't know. I'm sure that I'm missing something. Probably, probably a difficulty to switch. Maybe you know, just a little bit of extra speed for that leprechaun. He might be. He might be quite a challenge. They had, Drunky Kong said they had Pac-Man, Leprechaun, Rolling Thunder, Double Dragon, Black Dragon, Kung Fu Master, Yar Kung Fu. Wow, you remember all the names. Like all the games that they had at your, uh, what was it, Bowling Alley? Yeah, cool. I was always a nerd. Anytime there was a place that had arcades, it could have been, uh, you know, Bowling Alley or uh, Indoor Amusement Park or, um, or even, even an Outdoor Amusement Park or... Um, hotel or anything. I always be like, let's check the arcade game. No, we're here to check in to the hotel, Mark. And t take a rest and then go to bed and go to the place we're supposed to go. To. No, I want to I play the arcade game. Does anybody have quarters? I say outdoor amusement park because I'm thinking of, you probably know this place Stu. Adventureland in Farmingdale. You know, it's an outdoor amusement park, but they used to have a, an arcade which was an indoor part of the park, of course. You can't have the, uh, the arcade game outside. But, um, yeah, I'll be, uh, you know, everybody I'm with, they didn't want to go on, you know, the bumper cars or whatever. And I would enjoy that, too, but, but I would mostly want to go check out the arcade games. Dan the man said the game would fit right in a casino. Sorry, I gotta not get killed by the leprechaun. 
<laughs> he was referring to the haunted house. I wouldn't go in there if I were you. My idea of fun is not being chased by a man with a chainsaw. A chainsaw? I almost had a close shave with a chainsaw. Isn't it like there's a tree or something like that? Yeah, he's got the quote. I almost had a close shave with a chainsaw. <laughs> Adventureland is still open. And my friend Dave, every once in a while I see his post on Facebook that he checked into Adventureland. I'm like, why am I not going there more? Or at least once in a while. I gotta take Rob Bob there. He's kind of... He might, he might think it's a little bit childish, but for him now. I should have taken him when he was younger. <laughs> I, 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 I forgot the place existed pretty much. But actually, I take Rob Bob to a Japanese class he takes. He studies Japanese. He takes private classes. And uh, it's actually right near Adventureland. Or at least within about five miles. Probably probably three, three, or, three or four miles. So yeah, this game is an absolute cake walk. I don't know what's going on. I'm about ready to quit. And maybe just at least for my own information, because I'm curious, check if there is a dip switch for the difficulty setting or something. Let's do that now. Let's call it. Except I don't remember how to go into the menu at the moment. Um, what am I in? Mame? Uh, oh, this is giving me the uh, retro arch. I don't know. I, uh, retro arch menus are just so crazy. I don't know if it'll. I feel like going through all of it. I think I need the actual Mame menu. I'm gonna stand there like an idiot. Let's get, let myself get killed. All right, he killed me. All right, I quit the game. I'm gonna call Leprechaun beaten. I have defeated the Leprechaun. <laughs> All right. Stu said he stood on that line and heard that tree and owl go at it like 30 times before he got in. Yeah, yeah, that's kind of how I like remembered that line too. You just heard it a lot, or even just like wandering through the park, you would you would hear it usually, as long as you weren't too far away. You said never heard of this game Leprechaun until just now. Looks like it was never ported to home and never re-released. Uh, yeah, though as I mentioned, you know, if you check Brian Brian's man cave, he um he was playing and I didn't actually watch the video, so so I might be off base, but I think it was a, a port of this game that's a homebrew that somebody else is making currently. Uh, Drunky Kong has played the hell out of them and all the mall arcades and the two big ones in our downtown core and all the local convenience stores by my house. Remember the mall, good times. Yeah, actually, sometimes I would um, be... Uh, uh, my grandparents usually had to stop at the drugstore often. And I, my grandparents were very local and they were they were kind of involved, partially involved in, in raising me and my siblings, you could say, I guess. And uh, so, you know, I would often be... I would often ask them for rides to places and things, and they'd be like, oh, we gotta go to the drugstore. I'd be like, I wanna go, <laughs> and I would play whatever couple of arcade games they had. Anyway, this is by Tong Electronic. I never heard of Tong. Um, Stu says, I checked it, it was, oh, a different homebrew called Leprechaun's Flight. Oh, okay, that's something else. Uh, Eric says, the game Tutankham looks interesting if you have it. Yeah, that's, that's pre a pretty well-known game, I would say, more so than Leprechaun. Um, and I played some version of it before, I think. I just, I'm not exactly skilled at it. I can't really say I'll do any, you know, play it well at all. But that's okay. Let's check it out. Yeah, I, play, I played some version of it for sure. I can't remember which one. Like some some kind of home port. Here we go. Tutankham. All right. And Dr Drunky says, give Hunchback a try. All right, I'll check that next. All right, here is Tutankham. And Stu says, oh wait, there's also an early beta for Intellivision of Leprechaun under an alternate alternate name called Pot of Gold. Oh, okay. Yeah, that must be what it was. Yeah, Pot of Gold is what I saw recently. I keep accidentally browsing, like changing my browser window here. Sorry about that. Not that you guys can tell. Anyway, uh, Tutankham, yeah. Konami, this is a pretty early Konami game, I guess. Hunchback. I used to have a friend who made up these imaginary characters. They were called Hunchback, and the other one was Ogre. And they were they were enemies who would always be fighting each other. 
You make up these stupid stories about Ogre and Hunchback. If we're getting nostalgic about stupid things. Um. <laughs> All right, here, here, let's try. I don't remember how you actually play this, quite honestly. Let me watch this demo. It looks like the thing he walked into was teleported. You shoot these birds and stuff. Okay. And you try to get treasures, but it looks like you can easily get trapped. And I think you can only shoot horizontally? Maybe that's not true. Let's find out. Alright. Where's my fire? Oh, I think I used like a smart bomb. It's probably very limited to my mistake. Where's my normal shoot button? Do I have to... Okay. Maybe I have to pick up something before I can shoot? I don't know. It's one of these things where I'm not sure if I just don't have the button mapped or... Well, obviously... <laughs> I'm, obviously I'm wasting my token this time. They're fast. Yeah, there's a key. There's a teleporter thing. Here's a, a treasure of some sort. Here's the smart bomb again. No! So, uh, it's gotta be a button I can press. Besides the smart bomb. So in the demo, they were shooting. Hmm. I could try to poke around in here. Control. Uh, left stick. Uh, flash bomb. Yeah, it looks like I have two buttons mapped map to flash bomb, but not to anything else or is that all you have maybe that's all you have flash bomb that's weird i could have sworn he was shooting something in the demo left stick go left stick down left uh, flash bomb. and start fake left stick what <laughs> all right that's weird And Stu says, I suck at this game. Drunky Kong says, Tutankham is decent. Arcade Cabinet is a twin stick pal. Do I need to be using two sticks? The right stick is only left and right and the bomba. Oh. All right. Wow, I didn't realize this was a twin stick game. I've actually done a uh, twin stick themed stream before. And I did not include this game because I wasn't aware. Interesting. That's not working. That could just be setup issues again. Let me see. Uh, for two controls, maybe? Or... Hmm. This is confusing, actually. If I do it, <laughs> this is the problem when I play random games. It, sometimes there's configuration, that, you know, unexpected configuration issues. Um, what's it telling me? Up, down, fake, left stick. Not sure what that means, but it might be what I need to do. Wait, right stick. Something about right stick is in here. Left, right stick, left, right. I don't know what that means, though. I mean, I could just try it, I guess. Uh, which, okay, there's many options here. What is fake left stick up? Down. The first one is left and right. This is up, down. Okay. Plus, minus. Interesting. Donkey Kong just told me what it means. What? A fake left? He didn't tell me what fake left means. <laughs> I know there's a right stick that's left and right, but I don't understand how to configure it in RetroArch. A plus here, a mi this must be the minus I need. Let's let's try that. I don't know. And set up one more thing here. This is the left, right. It looks like there's just two settings. All right. For right, let's see if that works. Um, okay, will left and right work? No. 
I don't think I can play it. Let me try one more thing quick. Could they both be under port one, perhaps? Maybe I can just map these buttons like, um, let's see, zero, one, two, three, four, five. If I can map these to the sticks, maybe. Four could be the fake right one. Right stick plus, that could be a minus, maybe this will be the right stick plus. Why did it show you like that? All right, let's see if that works. Actually, I mapped them, I tried to map them, the button, it looks like it worked, yay. Cool. Gas. I'm shooting all these birds. But the thing is, they spawn pretty fast. They're not too predictable, but I think I'm about to lead them into my line of sight, and then sometimes they go a different way. Ooh. Oh no! Oh, I killed him! Even though he was above me, I shot like right or something, and it killed him. So I guess because the shot goes a little buggy like I don't know. Anyway, I beat level one, hooray! <laughs> yeah, thanks, drunk uh Eric. Eric says glad you got it working. Drunky Eric. No, I must have drunky Kong, I meant Eric. Up there, okay. down there we need to get out of here I guess. Oh is that thing gonna block me? I guess I have to go around. Oh. Hold on. Can't get that? Oh no. We're actually gonna get that. Is it because I have another object or something already? What if I touch this thing? Wasn't there a ring there before, though? I don't know what's going on. Oh, I already have a key, that's why. Oh. Can't hold two keys? Alright. What was the point of giving me another key? I guess that's another option. Oh, man! The big open area is kind of scary. Kind of, uh... You know, they can come at you from all different ways. Alright, so we got it working. You know, I'm gonna call that... A game that doesn't count though. So I'm going to change my name to Mew. Flash stick to enter. I have to flash in my stick? No, um. Hmm. Oh, flash. Flash bomb. I got to remember to have that. Drunky Kong says, my name's Eric, too. That works out. I can just call you guys Eric and Drunky interchangeably. Although, I don't know if Eric will be offended if I call him Drunky. I guess it depends if he's, if he's drinking. <laughs> Alright, let's play. Now that I know how to do it, I'm, I'm already set up. I, I learned a little bit. Now, I feel like there was a... Um, oh, there might have been a quarter cage from Numbskull of this, too. I feel like I saw something recently where, like, there was a some sort of new form of this game. It might have been a quarter case. Well, I was kind of, you know, confident 
just there. Like, I'm gonna start kicking this game's butt, and then I just died really <laughs> early nonetheless. That's alright, though. Too confident. <laughs> do 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 do. Why do it have to be snakes? That's right, the key's up there. You can teleport though. I guess you probably get more points if you um, beat the game with more time on the board. The level, I mean. So if you want to be an expert at the game, you probably have to do all the shortest paths and not do this. <laughs> be here hiding for five minutes. <laughs> Use the teleporters efficiently and everything. Oops, here's a smart bomb by accident. I guess they call it. And I'm trying to try to. Oh no! Wow! It worked that time, I think. Try one more time. What time is it, by the way? 10 10. Here in New York. 10 10 wins. At 10 p.m., they say on TV. It's 10 p.m. You know where your children are. their patterns are not that predictable. Like, so sometimes the sides can run around in a loop. And it does add some challenge for sure. Get his key to the lock. And we'll be greedy and get some treasure for. Oh no! <laughs> I'm so stupid. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Alright. I felt like I had a better handle on it the first game. When I like was fumbling with the controls, I'll, I'll give it one more try. I have a credit in there after all. I wouldn't want to lose my twenty-five cents. <laughs> you know what? I wonder if. Uh, oh man. Jeez. I, I wonder if you know, given how it, how much the U.S. dollar has inflated, if 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 you imagine that all other factors being the same, except that they invented the arcade game, the arcade video game, today. What would you have to do to, to pay for it? I guess it would probably be like how, how it is today. You would put, put in a card or some crap. I'm just, I just mean like, it's just purely in units of currency. Would it be like a dollar? <laughs> anyway, I apparently suck at this game. Get back in gear here. I'm gonna beat the second level with that big open space at the end. I think that's the end. Yeah, you can see on the map it's the end. Part of me goes, it shouldn't be that hard. Oh.
No! It's those vertical tunnels that are pain. Anyway, I guess I'm dead. Alright, that's all. Tutankham by Konami1982. And now I'm going to look for this Hunchback game that somebody mentioned. Junkie Kong mentioned that. What is Hunchback? Look how many games there are. It's insane. Hunchback. Scramble hardware. Interesting. Galaxian hardware. <laughs> Interesting that you could apparently plug it into Galaxian or Scramble Hardware or even Donkey Kong, perhaps. Hey, look at this one. This is a Donkey Kong conversion kit. Version. Okay, I'll just try set one, maybe. I don't know. Hunchback is a classic, much copied platform game. It's a little loud, isn't it? In which the player takes on the role of the eponymous bell ringer Quasimodo in his in his quest to rescue the beautiful Esmeralda from the tower of the castle fortress. So you know, I've always heard of this um, Atari 8-bit game called Quasimodo, and I wonder if this is based on that. Not sure that it is, but just a thought. All right, let's try it. Hunchback. This is another game that uh, I've never played. Let's see if it works. Okay, not a, not a fan, but once again, you know, the typical solution, at least in my setup here, is if this happens, you try the other emulator. MAME 2010 will usually do it. There she blows. Game system operational. Was that Quasimodo talking like a robot? No, the, the game itself just said game system operational. All right, this is about trying to rescue the very white as and blonde Esmeralda. And he hops along, apparently. That's, is that Quasimodo hopping? He doesn't look very hunchbacked. Oh, there's a lot of them. I gotta ring the bell. Featuring bells. <laughs> the bells. Sorry, it's featuring the bells. Press your red button to read player instruction. What's my red button? Select game. I guess it just means one player or two players. <clears throat> okay. I don't know what's going on. Alright. How do I do anything? Uh, let's see what we got. Bunch of buttons. Um, <laughs> all right. Hmm. Doesn't really help me much. Input this game. Ba 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 ba. See, MAME has a different, it has an old separate menu. The one I was in before was Retro Arch. It's pretty confusing. All right, so it looks Press like my player one button is mapped only to the keyboard <laughs> key Z. That was my problem, so let's fix that. Okay, now I've got my button. There's only one button. And Eric says, maybe the hunchback is meant to die. It's his fate. Yeah, probably. Drunky Kong says pinball machines here in Canada take one and two dollar coins or have bill readers or ePay. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now I can jump or do whatever my action button is. I guess it's hopping around like that. Here we go. Yeah. What is this purple thing? A fireball or something? Fireball. All right. I rang the bell. Now what do I do? Oh, I gotta get, I gotta get, 
jungle king up in this bitch. I'm so slow. Oh, come on. My guy, like, he runs like... Okay. And I got this guy, this knight, climbing up the wall. He's ready to kill me. Oh, what? The, the, the physics of the jumping, too. You're like... You know, it's like you're swimming in molasses. All right, I have to do it very early, like now. Oh. I think you're right, Eric. He, he just meant to die. Let's try again. I wonder if I have to hit the button to grab the rope? I don't think so. I mean, I, maybe you do. I, I feel like that would be weird. Who says the game isn't weird, though? Um, all right, here we go. We're going to try again. Oh, no, I hit it again, and I jumped. I, ha I had grabbed it. Okay. Eric says you could have grabbed it if you had better posture. Yeah, my hunch back in this. Oh, that was too late, probably. No, we're good. Yay, I think. <laughs> okay, we got a bunch of little pits. I think I'm moving a little faster. Maybe not. That third screen was easier than the second one. Uh oh. They want to poke. He wants to poke me in the bum. These guys, they're just standing in these holes ready to poke me in the bum. And they're green. Look at that. Their faces are green. They must be orcs. Wait a minute. That, that knight, I think he had like fire. I better move. Oh, no. Look, he's gonna shoot me with fire, I think. He's got a flamethrower. Ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. I like how the bell sounds like a doorbell. Ding dong. It's the hardest part of the game so far. Super bonus. Oh, it's the butt stabbers again. This time we have. Oh, there's a lot of arrows. I mean, it's going to be hard. Oh. Okay. It's very intense. Ah! Shoot. No, come on! <laughs> Bullshit. I guess I should jump there, but there's high arrows, too. You never know when they're going to come. Ah. <laughs> ah. Hmm. Drunky says you're halfway. Okay. Oh, I'll give it another try. This is by Century Electronics UK Limited, by the way. I'm trying, to, trying to think if I know that name at all. I don't think I do. Drunky Kong says I'm halfway there. I'm living on a prayer, I guess. I think that's what he's telling me. I wonder if 900 is the best you can get on that first screen. It seems like it. Oh. Dan Demand says, I only ever played this and Hunchback 2 on C64. I never knew it was an arcade game, though. That's what I get for reading your chats, Dan. <laughs> I didn't know it was on the Commodore, even, actually. Oh, yeah, there's like a map at the bottom. I just noticed that. That's showing me my overall progress, I suppose. Hooray! 
I kicked the rope to ring the bell. Ooh, that was close. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Okay. Ah. Okay, is this the one I died? I think it is. This is hard. Ah, got me in the foot. Stabbed me. Ah, he got me in the foot again. I thought it was safe because I jumped straight up. Okay, okay. Ah! Alright, I'm giving Hunchback one more try. Hopefully I can beat that screen. the year of this game 1983 i believe yeah I'm trying to think all right maybe <laughs> the physics could be better thinking by 83 i think they got platformer running and jumping working a little better in general not necessarily this century company that's okay though Hello, Kalarkian, who says I can't move. <laughs> That's interesting. That's my dad's joke. Are you my dad, Clarkian? My dad likes to, to joke that back in the day, we would all, I guess anybody playing video games, or maybe just his children, I don't know, would complain, I can't move, the controller's not working, and that would be our excuse for dying. <laughs> So this is Hunchback, for those who just joined us. It's a game I had never heard of, but apparently some people in our chat ha have uh, heard of it, and uh, it was requested by Mr. Drunky Kong, and Eric said he had, I think it was Eric, no, Dan the Man said he had played it for Commodore, but didn't know it was for Arcade, and Clarkian says he figured it out. Ah, Clarkian is my dad undercover. Don't ask him to tell you embarrassing stories about me. I'm not sure what Clarkian means, but that must be his undercover name. <clears throat> Have you heard of this one, Mr. Clarkian? Hunchback. Ah, yeah, I beat that screen. Gregory Col. <laughs> I was telling the story about Gregory. Gregory was my neighbor friend turned turned enemy i guess he had these imaginary characters ogre and hunchback and uh he would he, he would put on these stupid voices like ogre would go ogre ogre that's what he would say cuz apparently you just say your name stupidly if you're an ogre i mean that's what pokemon is all about right you know they're all like ah Saying their names. Clefairy! Oh! So apparently. Oh! That was mean. They don't give you a chance at the beginning there. If you fall into this like two foot deep pit, or maybe a little bit deeper than that, six foot deep pit, you just fall through the bottom <laughs> to your doom. <laughs> Of 
going on here? Ah, oh, no. Man, I guess I'm done. Well, I got pretty far. That was all right. It was kind of fun. You know, the physics, physics were very clunky, but it was pretty fun. I almost want to try it again, but I'm not going to. <laughs> Should I do it one more time? What do you guys think in the chat? One more time or move on? I think I can do a little bit better, so I'm tempted. But I may just move on. Eric says, sure. What, one more time? All right. The problem with emulation is it tells you to press the red button. You don't know what the red button is. I guess, Eric, you're saying sure to one more time. I, I can do one more time. Let's do one more time. Then I'm probably going to get, like, on the last screen but not win. And then suddenly one more time will become yet another time. Let's do it, though. We're going to do it. Hunchback. Here we go. I'm going to rescue Esmeralda. And Clark Ian says, high school W, trust for Clark. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't really do Monday main regularly. I, um, when I have no work, I sometimes do Monday main. For those wondering. But I had moved my, my old school gaming stream off of the arcade cabinet in general. And it was on Thursdays, but Thursdays had become a thing in life now because Rob Bob, my son, Mr. Rob Bob, as his nickname is, uh, volunteers at a community food share event every Thursday. And so I take him there. And so yeah, it's to be determined when I will be doing my regular old school streams again. Probably just Wednesday, to be honest. I just don't have a snappy name for it anymore. I, I was doing way back Wednesday at one point. But yeah, Monday main, probably just like three or four times a year at, at this point. Oh man, I die on the easy part. Good to save your lives for the hard part. Drunky Kong says, Captain Silver is a weird one too. I'll read the rest of your message in a bit. I don't know what the, the knight who chases you actually does. I'm assuming he kills you, but I haven't really seen how that works. I guess he's just kind of a time limit, which is kind of cool. I like I like when the games have something, you know, some enemy who's chasing you acting as the time limit better than just like a meter that arbitrarily kills you when the meter runs out. Like Evil Otto in Berserk. He's, he's, he's the uh, epitome of a monster who kills you over time, in my opinion. I'll often refer to similar characters as, oh, it's an Evil Otto, or something like that. Ah, it was a guess. Is it going to come low or high? It came high. I'm not sure if there's a pattern to it. It doesn't appear to have a pattern. It seems to be 50-50 every time. That would be my guess. Okay. Hunchback. All right, all right. Oh, this one again. That's not fair. Give me a second. Jeez. <laughs> ah. So that time my strategy was okay, run immediately and jump and not realizing that the arrows can come high or low. All right, that's that. That's <laughs> that's all the hunchback I have in me for tonight. And Drunky Kong, what, what was the rest of your message? I played the hell out of that because the local mall arcade, it was two credits for 25 cents. That's pretty cool. While waiting to get on Street Fighter 2 and Mortal Kombat. Eric said, have you ever played Chicken Shift? Real game. I have not. By the way, the theme tonight is I'm playing random, obscure, or weird arcade games that most people haven't heard of. In some cases, I haven't heard of them. Um, thankfully, I have folks in the chat who know of these <laughs> weird, obscure games. 
Uh, was there another suggestion, though? I don't think there was. So I will try yours, Eric, which is Chicken Shift. <laughs> now, I might throw in some classics here and there, because those are fun, too. But overall, the overall theme is just weird, obscure stuff. So anyway, let's find Chicken Shift. That's because uh, it's April Fool's, right? April Fool's, that this is a good stream. <laughs> I don't know. Um, let's fix my menu. Dude. Chicken Shift. I might not have it. I don't have every game under the sun. Well, that might be hard to believe looking at this menu. Here it is, Chicken Shift. This is from 1984. Puzzle Maze. Publisher Bally slash Senti? Sente? An addictive puzzle game in which the object is to guide eggs through a maze of egg runs and guide them safely to the basket at the bottom of the screen. This is achieved by switching red and blue... Oh, this sounds, this sounds taxing on my tired brain, but I'll go for it. You can switch pipes around, essentially, to, to route the eggs into the right locations, it sounds like. What's this game? Cheeky... Oh, I've heard of... I might have played Cheeky Cheeky Boys. Before. Anyway, Chicken Shift. Let's do it. Is this a good game, Eric? Or uh, just a random game you heard of once? Or what's, this, what's the story? Uh, anyway, uh, as usual, I have to do my ROM switcheroo. It's funny. Usually, my experience in the past was that Final Burn tended to load most of my ROMs. But tonight, it seems I'm hitting all of the weird ones that prefer MAME. And Eric said, I heard of it via a Reddit thread. Okay, never played it myself. All right, that's cool. Let's check it out. Chicken Shift. Doing sound tests. All right, here's Chicken Shift. This is a very, very soft volume. Let's turn it up a bit. Okay. Help eggs and chicks from falling. Shift eggs and chicks to destination. Blue button shifts. Oh, no, I need color button. Okay. <laughs> red button shifts red thing. Game ends when all egg stacks are gone. Well, let's check the controls real quick. It's probably not that hard to figure out, despite my lack of um, colored buttons. Once again, for some reason, my button 1 is Z by default. <laughs> and the button 2 is my left alt key. So I'm going to make button 1 this one right here. And button 2 this one right here. Hopefully that's red and blue. I'm sure it's easy to figure out quickly. <laughs> There's only two possibilities. Termites. Let me check out this demo again real quick. I want to see what it's doing. Create shifters. Chicken shift. I already got that. I want to see the demo though. Do you not use a joystick? It might not. It might not be a joystick game. It might just be red and blue buttons. All right, let's give it a try. Okay, simple enough control. You know, I was right. You don't use a joystick game. This could get tricky if you're trying to manage two pipelines at once, essentially. Oh, there goes one. <laughs> Alright. I only had to save three. Termite. Why is it, why is it pointing to termites? <laughs> That's weird. my uh, <laughs> capabilities while I'm a bit tired. <clears throat> Good test my brain power. I don't have it. I don't have a brain. But notice you can oh yeah notice how you can just get one in there. You can move it while it's 
You can move the egg while it's in there and it'll be fine. Hmm. This is pretty cool. I don't see myself getting <laughs> past a couple more levels. Oh, what's going on? Guide eggs out the window. It's different. Okay. Okay, interesting. I move, I move these platforms. They, they have eggs. They have feet, I mean. Okay. Oh, I just killed it. Wait, what am I... Oh, I'm supposed to block it with the wall, then it'll, go, it'll double back. I see. Okay. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, man. Wait, I, wanna, I hope it lets me try again. And it's not like a bonus level. Okay, that's cool. Alright, let's do it. Got it. Gotta get into the exit. Get it? Exit? Ha 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 ha. This is... Ah. Oh, jeez. <laughs> thanks, Eric. Eric says you're doing really good for being tired. Ah, I don't know if I'm doing well, but thanks. I appreciate the comment. <laughs> All right, we can do this, though. We can do this. Do a little better. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Okay, two birdies safe. I think we got this. Oop, I just lost an egg. But that's a, oh, I'll do it. <laughs> I don't care. They can be dead. <laughs> Save three, three of them. That's all I need to do. Now put one chicken to each nest. Only it got really loud. What the hell? All right. Uh oh. I have to fling them. <laughs> This is, this is kind of fun. Okay, uh... I feel like I have to think less here. Maybe I... No, I'm, I'm killing them, aren't I? Okay. Never mind about the thinking less. Oh. That was full. Okay, okay, okay. Bye. I can do this, but I ran out of lives. I'm gonna try again. I kind of like, I was expecting like just that first screen to be the entire game, except it would get a little bit more challenging, more complicated shoots, but I like how it changes the style. And I wonder how many <laughs> different styles there are. Like a whole, totally different kind of level. That's pretty fun. Alright, so let's do this again with the termites. Yeah, you got it perfect. Ta da! So, what was the Reddit thread? I'm, I'm just curious. Eric, was it something about like hidden gems or. I'd imagine it's probably something like that. Oh, I just, <laughs> I just dropped one. Oh, I'm like noticing you can get these special bonuses and I'm getting greedy. Like if it goes over those glowing areas, you get, ex you get extra points, I guess. Oh. Oh, did I lose? Oh no, I got, <laughs> I got enough, okay. Obscure must play games with Eric. That's cool, I like that. Fun to find obscure, yet good things. Sometimes it's fun to find obscure yet bad things as well, and make fun of them. The worst thing is famous and bad things. Like, why is this popular? You don't deserve any acclaim, famous and bad things. <laughs> Yeah, 
Okay, so I'm seeing now with those glowing areas, you can really challenge yourself and try to get a lot of points. Rather than just trying to basically survive. Hmm. Eric says I'll send it to you on Discord, but then you have to play the games on stream. Yeah, why not? I mean, tonight I only have probably, I'm probably only going to do like a half hour more or so, but... I could do a stream all about that one thread, perhaps. <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's see if I can do this successfully again. You remind me of Sheldon from uh, U.S. Acres on the Garfield cartoon. Remember, he had his little um, feet protruding from the egg. <laughs> Okay. I got this. <laughs> I messed it up at the end. I thought I thought I almost had it perfect. I just totally screwed up at that last moment. But okay. Okay, this I haven't figured out yet. Uh, I get the idea now, though, and it gets really loud, and I have to lower the volume, unfortunately. All right. Fling him up. Fling him to the right. You got to go up. Fling that one up top to the right. Oh, shoot, I'm losing the merge. Alright, alright, alright. Getting somewhere. I have to get the, the left two. We're gonna fling him on the blue one up there. There we go. Okay, okay. And how about the red here and the blue there? Okay, we're getting somewhere. Getting somewhere. Okay, okay. I think we got this. We got this. Yay! <laughs> Uh oh, back to this. And back to a low volume. I'm sure it's gonna get really challenging now. Oh, look at that. They kind of challenge you by mixing up which side the colors are on. That is actually quite challenging. Okay, how are we doing? We're stable at the moment. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, I survived somehow. Chunky Kong says it's a physical game from the 80s like this. with balls that roll inside and you hit buttons to switch. You got the idea of what you're saying, but I have to look at the screen. Lest all my eggs <laughs> get smashed. Yeah. No! I have four eggs. Okay. You, and Drunky Kong said you hit the buttons to switch the baskets, kind of like an upright pinball machine. That's pretty cool. Back to this style. Okay, I bet it's gonna be harder. Oh, look at this. We have a color, the color mixed up here. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it does get a lot harder when like the, you know, the colors are mixed up for sure. Oh. Well, at least one survived. <laughs> ah. I don't have a joystick. <clears throat> All right, I'll leave it at that. MPP. Uh, apparently, I'm losing internet. Great. Are we back? I had another internet hiccup. I don't know what's happened, but I apologize. I don't. This pretty much never happened since I moved from e from Wi-Fi to, to Ethernet, but it is happening once in a while tonight for some reason. <clears throat> Sadly. All right. Yeah, that was fun. That was called Chicken Shift. All right. I think we have no other requests lined up, but I do have the link from Mr. Eric. Reddit link. It's an obscure title that are must play. I might just pick something random on my own. So let's see what we got here. Okay, I can't scroll the browser for some reason. 
Uh, bu -bu -bu. Bean Ball, uh, Ninja Baseball Batman. Oh yeah, that was <laughs> Cadillacs and Dinosaurs is not really obscure. I would not call Night Slashers obscure either. Maybe a little bit. Nightmare in the Dark I don't consider obscure. Oh, <laughs> I guess I'm uh, you know operating at a different level than these people. Not not to saying I'm awesome in there. Not Armored Warrior. That one I never heard of, but Janice, who used to attend these streams regularly, suggested that once, and I was I thought it was cool. Yeah. Um, Drunken Concept, Captain Silver, if you want a br brutal game. Uh, sure, I'll try Captain Silver. That's right, you did request that. Apologies. Um, but yeah, I don't think I want to play a beat em up tonight. Like, uh, Armored, whatever it was called. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. Uh, Captain. Captain America and the Avengers. Captain. Commander Captain Silver. I have Japan and World. All right, I'll try it. If it's too brutal for me, I can always just quit. This is a platform fighting scrolling Data East. A side scrolling game where you must slice enemies with your sword to rescue your beloved. Sure, let's try it. Captain. Oh, you know, I might have. Did I play this? Oh, I well, whatever. Let's. We'll find out. Here we go again. Like, don't waste everybody's time by reporting this as a bug. All right, Captain Silver. Hi ho, Silver. We're going to Mame. Mame is like the uh, the king today. I uh, don't know what's going on with Final Burn. Captain Silver. And now the adventure of treasure hunting begins. Go. Ah, ah. <laughs> Are these werewolves attacking me? What's going on? My buttons don't do anything. I think I have to configure them again, unfortunately. I'm gonna die while I do that. Okay, we have two buttons per character, so let's set that up. Button one, button two. And I got game over, but that's okay, we can try again. All right, let's kill them. Ah. Oh man, he barely, he like fingernail poked me at best. Okay, the volume's a little loud, so let me turn that down. Ah! A Cheshire Cat? What is that? I guess a key, though. Oh man. I guess I could just attack it. It has like a large, like a wide arc to it. That should probably be fine. What's the X? Oh, am I spelling something at the bottom? I'm spelling Captain Silver, maybe, but. Oh, the X people. Oh wait, we're all werewolf. All right, I killed that pink cat. There's a blue potion or something up there. How do I get it though? Can I do up and jump? No. How do I jump that high? Can I jump on top of something? Like a platform or an object? Got both buttons at the same time. Ah, I get killed that way. <laughs> yeah, it is pretty brutal. Wow. It does look like the Cheshire Cat, you're right. There we go. Oh, I don't know how to get that thing. I'm just trying to stay alive for now. Okay, we got these pumpkins falling from the tree. Pumpkins don't grow on trees. That's, that's the biggest problem I have with this game. Real, uh, realism wise. Oh! Get 
down from there, kitty. Meow. Hey, Andrew. Andrew's in the house. Check your message in a moment. Hey, I don't know how to get that thing up there. Maybe I have to jump on their heads or something. I'm gonna die if I try, I'm sure. <laughs> There's some boots. I wanna get some boots, they look very stylish. Let's climb this ladder. Wait for the werewolves to clear, whatever happens. Oh, maybe I can get the, uh... Potion from here, I can jump to the ladder. <laughs> I'm afraid to try with all the werewolves underfoot, though. Ah. Oh, I'm jumping high now. Oh, now I can get it. Oh, no! <laughs> Don't let up. Okay, I'm invincible or something, I think, but I'm afraid to test it, because it's an evil game. I'm faster. The hat store, a cafe, and go in. Random... What's going on here? Barry, is that a good guy? Shoot! This is a weird game, for sure. I like it. April Fool's theme. Weird enough to your game. Oh, I got killed by a mouse though. Alright, hello Andrew. Our, the arcade game I actually saw a game I was going to recommend blindly called Battle Chopper. Sure, I can give Battle Chopper a try. Let me try this a little bit longer though. Oh, look, I, I hit a checkpoint. That's good. Now I'm back to being a weakling with no special powers. Give me fairy. Go away, witch. Okay, I can shoot again because I got the fairy, I guess. This one is called Captain Silver and was a recommendation by Mr. Drunky Tongue, who knows all the coolest games. Hello. Am I too loud? Yeah, have you been chatting to me? Hang on a second. Everything okay? Okay. Okay, uh, sorry about that. All right, we got bats shooting fireballs at me now. Spelled most of my name Captain Silver at the bottom. I can stand on the fountain. I have to get that key, probably. So, oh, come on, what a mean game. <laughs> Touch the water. Alright, I think I'm done with this game. It's too mean. Too mean spirited. Alright. Looks like we got a new subscriber. Thank you, Mr. Subscriber. What are we playing here? Let's see. I lost my window. Thanks for the little like. Whoever likes the screen, I'm trying to get back into my control panel, which keeps disappearing on me. Bear with me a moment. Okay, I should be in it again. Battle Chopper. What the heck? Just clicked it and closed itself again. It's being very finicky tonight. It's April Foolsing me. Alright, Battle Chopper, we're gonna try. Battle Chopper from 1987. Iron. Battle Chopper reached in Japan. Japan as Mr. Heli no Daibokan. Or computer. Atari SP as Mr. Heli. 
Power 64, Power 64, Mr. Heli. Apparently Mr. Heli and every other version. Let's try it. Battle Choppa. Get to the Battle Choppa. Dun, 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 mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I like that coin drop sound effect. Okay, what's going on here? I'm controlling it, I am not. What? Oh. Oh, that's just a remap. Okay. That's two what? Shoot up or horizontally, but not down. That's weird because usually, if anything, you can shoot horizontally and then drop a bomb. But I have a, an anti bomb that shoots upwards. I guess I should be using an anti bomb for these things. I missed a power up, I think. How have I not heard of this one? Well, I guess that it's an obscure game. What's going on with that? Is a store? I buy something for 400? Buy bombs for 400? Ah. I'm getting killed trying to get this money. Buy a bomb upgrade then? What did I just buy? Okay, looks like I got twin shot for my horizontal shot. Like a shoot em up where you can uh, move in every direction and you buy things in the store and it has like a kind of a QP feel to it. And also when you land you sprout feet. Just like in fantasy though. Know. That's a pretty game too. Now I'm wondering which one came out first. Hmm. Fantasy zone or what is this? Battle chopper. Alright, now we're cooking. <laughs> Money. 
Got a little cough going on now, but I'm gonna falter this, I keep coughing into the mic. Shot it. F. Bum, bum, ba, dum. All right. Might be time to call it a stream, or I can squeeze in one more weirdo game. I could play Ninja Baseball Batman for a moment, <laughs> or just play a fun classic, or just something completely out of the blue. I can just spin the wheel like this. Wee! The Grid. Third person shooter from 2000. That's weird. Hmm. Usually, once you get into like, I don't know, the date range of like 96, 97, 98, this, this Raspberry Pi can't really handle those games. So I don't think I can handle a 2000 game. I do want to upgrade this. This is a Raspberry Pi 3B. Plus. They have the 5 now, which would which is much more powerful. So maybe I'll upgrade that. Anyway, I'm just going to find something. It has a weird name. It's called Groove on Fighter. Pula Rula? What, what, is that a game, Andrew? Pula Rula? Or Pula Rula? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. There we go, pull, pull, pull the ruler. 1991 Fighter 2.5D. The six level sideways scrolling beat em up for one or two players. Uh, it defies any logic or theme. Okay, I like that, it's weird. I'll give it a try, just play it for maybe five or ten minutes. Drunky Kong says, the grid is terrible. A try at a Doom Arcade, but a polygon mess. Oh, that sounds terrible, yes. <laughs> like a death match or something. Mm -hmm. Taito! Here is a Wonderland, a Wonderland called Radish Land. <laughs> okay. In each town under a keeper's control, the time flow was correctly kept with a time key. But a bad man appeared and stole the time key to stop the time flow. Towns were attacked one by one, the time flow was stopped, and they received damage. <laughs> they received damage. <laughs> An old man was impressed with a sense of danger, and he called Zack and Mel, and he entrusted them with his invented magic stick in order to defend their town. I buy it. I buy that story. Alright, Pula Rula. Ha! I guess I'm Zack. Watch the time key of the town. Leave me to do it. Be careful. Hm. I like the animation. Or the style. Wow, this is, this is neat looking. Hello, baby. I will punch you. Hello, dog. I got jump. What is this button? Is it for running? Oh, we're fighting now. Okay. Turned into a dog when I, when I killed him. Hmm. 
I guess I'm I'm casting magic on them or something. I'm like un undoing their curse or something. And they have turned into fearful monsters, fearful robots. Platypus. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to just like fall in like a Ninja Turtle style. Oh, <laughs> I was gonna say I'm gonna try it anyway because I'm not sure. A dead cop there. Arg, I'm beaten. Wait, what? I'll take this key. No, you will not take my key. My key, damn it. Get out of here. All right, there's my key. Can I pick it up? Ah, he took it. Damn it, the time stuff. All stopped too. If we have no magic stick, it will be the same thing. And I would say, can't. come, hurry up. Andrew says apparently this game gets weirder. <laughs> okay. I'm down with weird. We could definitely do a stream all about weird beat-em-up games, like Ninja Baseball Batman. Apparently this one. I've never heard of this one. Still trying to figure out this fun. It makes me like walk. A walk button? Maybe it's just mapped to one of the directional. Possibly. Give you my permission. Ah, she's shooting arrows out of her eyes. <laughs> I'm gonna have strange dreams after this. <clears throat> Yay, I'm free. Do you go to the town ahead? Yes, but why? That town is so head. I can't read this right. And the town people have escaped. Ah, so I understand. Thank you. This is what kind of weird crap. <laughs> it's full of ruler. Come on. Wait, this isn't only six levels. And I, am I am I at level three already? What the hell? I just happened. <laughs> This town is controlled by the dream of a megalomaniac in all places. Uh, you wake up a person who's sleeping in the deepest slums of the town and have him recover the town? Leave me to it. What? <laughs> Very strange indeed. <laughs> Bamboo? What is going on? 
I have magic uses up there. How do I use the magic? Am I missing a mapping? It looks like Golden Axe Potion or something. Let me check that out. Let's see. Okay, I can have uh, Fire 2. This was Fire 2 originally. Let me just scroll through every possibility. Yeah, the fire three that I'm missing. Okay, I'm gonna set this up properly. Uh, zero, one, two. So two can be fire three. This makes sense to me, believe me. This button is zero, one, and two. I'm gonna map them to one, two, and three. So zero will be uh, fire one. Two will be fire three. I already got that one. Will be fire two. That should be fine then at that point. Okay. Okay, there's my magic. We have to kill all these weirdos. Why are these like some sort of vehicle? What? <laughs> hey Brian, hopped in for a sec. I have no idea what I just said. Yeah, I don't know. What I, I don't know what I'm seeing either. Believe me, this game is called uh, Pula Rula. Ah, wait a moment. Okay, here's our next boss. I'm dead. She's using magic, huh? I think like it might as well beat the game if it's this short. It seems like it's very short. This is a level 3 of 6. It's only been like 5 minutes. Maybe 10 minutes, I guess. Magic again! Get him, get him, Adam. Punk even snail. Snail. Snail's like, I'll get you. <laughs> Ah, what did I do? Also, this town, there is not that... Dull. I'll go to the next town. If you go to the next town, across, going across the desert is a shorter way, thank you. Don't dream a strange dream again. This whole game is a strange dream. That snail is going to catch up with him any moment now. Okay, we're going to level, to level 4. Ah, it's hot. I feel thirsty. Where is water? We are also troubled with no rain. A fellow called Yu Yu sucked up all the rain. Damn you, Yu Yu! Ah, got the bomb. This is a beat 'em up peeve of mine when they hide off the edge of the screen and you can't hit them. Again. You can see my machine actually has a little bit of trouble keeping up with this game. Especially on the map screen, you can hear the audio kind of uh, stutter. She's a witch. She's many witches. Are you my friend? I guess not. She's killing me. Excuse me again. Got you. 
my mic for a minute and have a uh, coffee. All right, let's beat this game. Take this. Is there a, a slow snail this time? I guess not. Maybe the snail doesn't want to fight a fellow snail or whatever this thing is. It looks snail-like, but it has legs. Okay, those thingies. I get them? No, they're... Pick them up, okay. I pick up the snail. Yippee, it's rain. I'm afraid of too much rain this time. Da, 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 da. Alright, round five. Or, or is that Revo, Revo five? <laughs> Look, no rain falls from here. At the time of this town stop, no rain. I don't like these bamboo things. These big noses that shoot at you. Someone needs compassion to that has slightly longer text boxes. I, I fully agree. Sometimes the English is awkward, which makes me like pause in my tracks for a moment. And then by the time I recover from that, it's, it's, the whole, it's gone, the whole box is gone. What is this? Oh, a fairy. Get in my tornado. I think I'm just realizing that for all of these multi turns, you get more points if you touch the animal before they run away. Exactly playing for a high score here. <laughs> oh. Who would you enter here without permission? Then you must expect trouble. I choose you, Pikachu. Said, apparently the Japanese version of this game is even more messed up. Oh, this is not the Japanese version. I guess it does have English writing, of course. Something, oh no. Oh, it's the key. Got the key back. Uh-oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still in my menu mode, I don't know. Oh, I got 
some weird fish people. Oh, these are the mermaids with the, with the fish part on top. Mermaids for some bonus points, and now we're on, I think, the final level. I'm kind of glad that the brief game. I like to just kind of enjoy the silliness, but you know, the gameplay is just pretty basic beat em up. I've been carried away to a strange place. Nope, I could have said that on level one, right? They don't make them like this anymore. Maybe I should try the Japanese version another time. <laughs> also, I won't be able to read the text. I can barely read it here, so... It doesn't really matter. I don't like these bamboo guys because you can't hit them until their nose pokes out. Kind of clever design. <laughs> yeah. Andrew says they make the beat em up aspect look easy. I don't know, I'm dying quite a lot here. <laughs> so thank you. Go, go, go. Fairy power! I'm not exactly sure what the fairy does for me, but I think she's a bonus. I filled my quarters with pockets before starting the stream. Uh, my pockets with quarters. See, I'm, I can tell I'm really tired. I'm reversing my words and sentences again. <laughs> yeah. I want to see one of them turn into a newt. Microwave appear with my magic. Oh, that was just the boss. Okay, <laughs> is that the final boss? The microwave man? Okay, I can I just keep putting in the microwave. <laughs> Should I get into my. <laughs> what is going on? Certainly good of you to have come here. If you want the key back, take it back. Okay. I made this purple guy appear. That was my magical power. I, 
I'm done by this, the town can be recovered. Who are you? I forget to say this. That won't return the, the key at last or something? Oh, I guess this is the real final boss. Oh, now we got eyeballs on the wall. Real creepy place. Fell off and said, throw it at me. Oh, put it back on. Okay. So you can throw it at me. I am well done. I have to go back to the town in a hurry. <laughs> okay, I got my I got the key. I guess it I guess that's the game. I've taken the key back. Here it is. Wow, it's very kind of you to have done so. Oh, now he's the boss. <laughs> oh, do you think you were really beating me? Oh, something about last time. Worse than before, I don't know. Yeah, he's tougher than before. It's okay, I'll beat you anyway, because I have infinite quarters. Magic on him. Hey More magic. Get, that, get him, purple guy. That weird purple guy. <laughs> Dead. One more magic. Hey, Fairy princess come and attack him. to many other beat-em-ups. I am not used to a huge amount of quarters, I guess. But it always does feel bad when you're like, you're on one boss and you do have to put in more than one. Purple guy, finish him. Get him, naked purple man. Yeah, we got him. Almost. Now we got him. Until the next form comes. Oh, he's not dead. Beater's empty. Can't be alive when your beater's empty. Oh, that might be a good Yikes, sorry, forgive me. Because I lost patience with my monotonous life, I was possessed by some evil spirit. I'll never do such a thing again. Okay, his life with a monotonous of his he has. He seems to examine himself. I'll let the matter pass for this once. Get the time back. <laughs> I don't know, there might be another boss coming up, another fight. Yeah, something's happening. Get him to the gears in motion, okay. By this time, should be re safely returned back. Thank you for your effort to take the time back. Good, now let's go back to the place of your grandfather. Why am I doing that? Okay, sure. Congratulations, staff. Produce. Hidehiro Fujiwara. Character. Cat Zawakichi. Carry and... Town. Team Zoom Tata. Software. I roll must TMR. Exit Harpy. Magician Cat. Alright. These are beam ups are easy just doesn't matter of putting enough points. Yeah. It's hard to one credit them. I think I wanna one time try to get really uh good at Golden Axe and like one credit. What I like about Golden Axe is it gives you a uh, a score based on how many lives you used inclu including credits. Here we go, here's our ending. Some snapshots of the, the game in action. What the? <laughs> I'll have to ask Janet if he knows this one. He knows all the weird Japanese games. I 
That was the, okay, that was from the Japanese one, yeah, because I, I didn't see that when I played. I guess that was considered a little bit too far. So I thought it looked like the leg spread. <laughs> A little too far across the line, I mean. and yet they left it in the credits. So it's like, was that an accident, or maybe they thought nobody <laughs> would beat the game? I don't know. Probably accidental, I guess. Okay, that's that. Sweet, I got the highest score round all. <laughs> all right, I think I'm gonna call it there, folks. Thank you for watching. That was our April Fool's edition of Monday Main. Just playing silly and obscure games. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. We played, uh, what did we play today? We played well, this game here, which is called, what's it called again? I'm trying to find P Pooly Ruler. We played Leprechaun. We played um, Chicken Shift. We played some weird knockoff of a Galaga style game, I guess you could say. Uh, we play, what else? I don't know. A couple other games. Zookeeper. Zookeeper. Play some Zookeeper. And, uh, that's all I got. We play Tutankham. That's true. That's true. Um, yeah. I don't know why I feel like I want to say something, but I got nothing to say. So that is it. Thank you for watching again. And I'm going to try to do another stream this week. Um, the old goat is no longer on thursdays because thursdays are busy i'll probably make wednesday night my regular old school gaming uh, stream and i've been meaning to do a special neo geo stream in honor of my one of my super regulars who never watches live or very rarely watches lives he watches the archived streams his name is charlie cat and he's been moderating a single neo geo thread on atari age for 10 years now he just had his 10th anniversary and last year I did a ninth year celebration for that, so I figured I might as well do a 10-year Neo Geo stream for him as well. That's probably what I'll do this week. And at some point soon, I would like to resume our in-progress game of Ultima 4. So maybe that'll happen perhaps next week. Definitely got to try to remember what the heck I was doing. It's been about a month. <laughs> um, but that's all I got. So thanks again, guys. And... Uh, See you next time. Take care.